Welcome to a Scopus video tutorial on the site score metric in Scopus. In this example, you want to review the site score for the journal Mammal Review. You have already navigated to its source details page. There are three tabs under the source details section. You are on the site score tab. Site score is one of three metrics available in Scopus that measure the citation impact of titles in Scopus. The other two are the Scamago Journal Rank, SJR, and the Source Normalized Impact Per Paper, SNP. Site score metrics include the Site Score, Site Score Tracker, the Site Score Rank, and Site Score Percentile. To calculate the 2022 Site Score for this journal, the number of citations received in 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022 for documents published in the same four years is divided by the number of Scopus indexed documents published during that same four-year period for this journal. You can access lists of both the citing documents and the documents published. You want more context for the 2022 value, so you view Site Score Rank, which is shown below the Site Score formula. Mammal Review is ranked number 10 of 456 titles in the subject area of animal science and zoology. It sits in the 97th percentile, or the top 3%, for this subject area. Mammal Review is linked to several subject areas. You can view the ranks and percentiles for each of these. Next, we look at the Site Score Tracker. Site Score Tracker is calculated in the same way as Site Score but for the current year rather than previous complete years. The Site Score Tracker calculation is updated every month as a current indication of a source's performance by this metric. The numerator, citations to date, of the current year's metric builds up every month as additional citations are received so that the calculation is consistent with the calculation of the complete year Site Score. Site Score Tracker is not based on a rolling 12-month window. The metric values are fixed around springtime each year when Scopus content for the previous year is considered complete, at which point the tracker is calculated for the subsequent year. You now select the second tab on the page, Site Score Rank and Trend. This shows you how Mammal Review compares with other sources in your chosen field. You can change the subject area by clicking the drop down menu next to In Category. You navigate to the final tab on the page, Scopus Content Coverage. This shows you how many documents Scopus has indexed for this source each year. You can access a list of documents, as well as an overview of citations for that year.